Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Supreme Ruler 2020 as Italy in the Blitzkrieg scenario. Last off, our um, transport fleet, primarily a transport fleet only, is slowly making its way toward Venezuela. And it's still going to be a slight journey, to say the least. But primarily to see if we can um, take the village of Aruba and the small village of uh, Willemstad and see if we can establish a strong point here and land on somewhere else. Somewhere on the tip right here. But... I'm starting to have second thoughts that maybe we could try to land somewhere else. Where, however, is some... Well, I'm not gonna land anywhere here. But... I don't know. Well, we'll, pro we'll just try and see if we can uh, gain these islands. If not, then we're screwed. At the same time, I uh, will have to try and uh, keep building forces in North America since it does look like the United States is just gonna sit here. The only Storm Hunter tank is just stuck right here as well. The fortress is almost fully finished, oh, with the exception of the fortification, supply depot, and the airfield, though. The fortifications and the airfield is are almost done for another five days at least. Supply depot, another ten extra days. In the meantime, we're just going to keep building up whatever we can. Uh, primarily mostly of tanks and other vehicles. So that at least hopefully we might have some strong point against... Some strong presence against the uh, United States and maybe even Canada. Uh, we're just going to keep building what we can. Another research breakthrough. Biological therapy. That's nice to know. But what else can we research? Uh, electric catapult. We'll research that. This. This. We'll research that. Uh, uh, I don't know. Future effects on the environment are still debated. And maybe I said one that these changes may do may do more harm than good. Yeah. This is a bit controversial indeed. Well, I'll probably research that anyway, but that's for another time. Also, propaganda machine, huh? Nah. Leave that alone. Budget for the uh, research efficiency, technology, project. They're all fine for now. So if that taxes, or even the social spending, well, our approval rating has gone down. So, um, I guess I'll reduce that to 45%, I guess. I don't know if reducing would help anyway. Economically, not. But politically, who knows. Well, diplomatically, in a way, for our, in, yeah, eh, in the future elections. But I am a little worried as to who else could pos possibly try and, uh, declare war. Cuba... Uh, likelihood of attack is very high. Same with Jamaica, Haiti, Dominican Republic. The United States currently is supposedly medium, but you never know. The Caribbean islands is still high, but what can they possibly do? That's my question. At any rate, let's take a look at the rest of the world. India. Okay, a bit of a skirmish of the remaining Chinese forces that are in here. Pakistan's a mess. These units are trapped. The Chinese are helping out the Pakistanis, it seems. Bangladesh has grown in size a bit. Myanmar, still alive. North Korea is still here, despite Japan's landing a uh, slight territorial gain here. South Korea crushing their military. And seemingly no help from China, it seems. Allies, perhaps, but doesn't look like there's any possible help of any kind, so to speak. Though China's expansion to the Siberian lands of Russia are, are um, 
Interesting. Nigeria. Well, Sudan's fighting back. Egypt has a rather unusual look, which doesn't make any sense. Libya, Algeria, Morocco, and surprisingly, Mauritania is still alive. Mauritania, I mean. So that's kind of interesting to see. Okay, our major fleet is getting a bit closer. It's too bad our destroyers cannot reach there since they so, have a limited range. But... I don't know. Industrial corruption. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Well, that's great. Now, I'm not really sure exactly what ship could refuel uh, most of the by navy. That's the one thing I'm not really so sure about. I mean, is it one of my carriers? I don't know. I'm a little unfamiliar. I may be familiar when it comes to, you know, aerial refueling or or some of my transport planes resupplying and my ground forces. Navy, on the other hand, I never figured that out, unfortunately. So these guys are stuck. And... Did one of my transports get under attack? Seemed that way. Well, now they're entering this area. There's no information of whether or not there's a submarine somewhere. If there is, we're kind of screwed. But let's just get closer. Okay, you're out. just outside. Now enter and see. No, there's no submarine anyway, so they're not going to be attacked. These two ships are going to be a little slow. So that's going to be left alone. Yeah. Oh, great. Oh, that's just great, isn't it? Of frigates. Well, there goes that plan, because my navy isn't going to be helpful. Okay, you know what? Just get over here. Forget the islands. Forget the islands. Or have these ships try to take the islands if they want to. Oh, get around, get around. Oh, no. Yeah, with no navy to help, this is not going to work. Yeah, this is not going to work. These guys are trapped. Uh, would you get out of there so we can take out these garrisons? So we've made a landing, but it's a very bad landing. With Venezuela's Air Force right here, still going to be um, harassing us. Venezuela's army is moving up. Uh, come on, will you just concentrate on this garrison? Really? Yeah, this is not going to work out. And there's only one garrison left, but they are attempting to retreat somewhere. Like that's going to help. What a joke. Yep, I guess in the end I should probably just make peace anyway, if that's even possible. Okay, it's possible, but I'll wait until they regain all this land and my units wiped out. This is a waste of time. I'll just kill my units already. I can't get them out of them. My transports are running away. So please, Venezuela, just kill them. Just kill them. <laughs> uh, this is not a very good situation anyway. It's practically impossible. So, of course, Venezuela's Navy just wiped us out since my destroyers have a have an incre has a. Uh, Severely limited range 
And I have no clue how to get them back, unless it's one of my carriers. Which will be annoying if it turns out that is the case. But where are they? I really don't know. Might as well just try and send them out to... These ships, I guess. Are they dead yet? No. With the exception of one engineer. And there he goes. So, brief foothold, but that's about it. Yeah. Treaty integrity and all that. Whatever. I really don't. I really don't care about that. Are they gonna get that back? I don't know. Probably just have to wait. Whereas the rest of my transports are getting sunk. Yay. Yay for that, so the, most of my navy is gone. And now we can try to make peace, that is, if we can. Yes, we can s still make peace, hopefully. Really. Now to get my air force reserved, same with my army. So that didn't work out. All of those transports I had, now gone. Well, might as well just uh, see if we have any other transports that we can still send out to North America. A few. At least a few. Now, if I could just get some of the armies to Bayonne. Same with these guys. Okay, will you accept a peace treaty already? Or ceasefire? Or did I not... Oh, wait, I... Are you kidding me? <sighs> Why don't I just give you something? Thank you, please, can you accept that? Countdown to election. And here's our party, the Independence Party, as it's called, which doesn't make any sense. Since, I think that would kind of make sense if it was, you know, the uh, divided Shadow World scenario, uh, sandbox, where the United States and the United States and other nations everywhere was just, you know, a separate entity. Nah, that's just what I'm going to say, but, anyway... The closest is the, okay, the Republican and the Socialist parties, huh? Right. So, that's interesting. Other, it could be any kind of a, uh, party at, anyway. Oh, thank you, Venezuela, for accepting the peace treaty. Now, for one problem. My ships. I have one that's over back here, so I'm gonna leave them alone, whereas my armies are constantly being built up anyway, so I'll leave them alone. Uh, these transports, leave them alone. Most all the way in the Pacific. Leave that alone. Where's this one? Up here, of course. So, that's one thing to check. Right. So, what about my deployed ones? Well, this transport's damaged anyway. Okay, I only got the... Yeah, I only got two more of these ships. But I need the 5326 Etnas. Hopefully. So, where am I gonna build anymore? Uh... Can I build another naval fabrication? No. Cannot. Okay. Okay, I can build one here. Because we're going to need more anyway. Over here. Perhaps. For now, it's just going to be two anyway. Over here on your hand, mostly other ship classes. Uh, cruisers, frigates, and all. Waste manager three, that's nice. Split. Nah, I'm gonna leave that alone. Here, 
Leave that alone. These two. Probably not. What else? Oh yeah, check that. Uh. Hmm. Nah. Nah. We're fine with the uh sort of a well not really when it comes to a naval presence in the Mediterranean. So I'll have several more naval fabrications. Also, I gotta check. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those are military goods. Massive. But I'm gonna try and keep putting up the uh, demand uh, capacities at max. All right, uranium mines. We're probably gonna need more, especially with the uh, power demand for any, you know, uh, nuclear power plants. And that's gonna be a nightmare to try and keep up. So I'll just build mostly those, so that's kind of it for now. Petrol... Well, we are gonna need to build more farms. We have four hydroponics being built. But we're gonna need more farms. Uh, let's see... None of these... seem like they can produce enough. At least from what I see. No. No. What about... Hmm. I'll just build like that. Yeah, I'll just build like that. So I'll leave that alone. Near the river? Well, there's a good spot here. And it's kind of about it. Freshwater or timber? Well, demand is still kind of high. Uh, oh, Spain, you have such huge amount of trees to cut down. Same with Portugal, it seems. Anywhere else? Uh, probably over here, I guess. So that should be enough. But, I probably would have to build some railways. Just to connect the lands a bit more. And that's already going to connect anyway. Okay, you connect to that railway. At the same time... Alright, that railway is connected. Where else? Uh, I may need to turn off the uh, supply view. Not military. Build railways. In Italy itself, I got several. Except up here. Okay, so that's connected now. Just gotta connect to each village I, that I see. And I'll probably make a split, so to speak. Over there, and that's pretty quick. There we go. Connected to the capital now. Whoops. So I've probably done that a little too far. And there's a bridge here. Ah well. Alright. Next. Connect to that. Connect to this. There we go. And I guess that's about it, except for this village. This one we'll leave alone. Everywhere else is somewhat fine. Well, when I say somewhat... I probably extended that a little too far. <laughs> My own fault. But now, let's see. Put back... No, not yet. Well, there's a good amount of farm here. 
Water, not so much. Timber, quite a lot. So... Oil, obviously not. Whoops. No oil, no coal, no metal ore, and that's about it. Okay. Next up, water. But first, I gotta return this off. Okay, I think I may have built a little too many of those. Scrap that. Let's see, agriculture. Plenty of space. Do that, build this. So build some here, I guess. That should be it. Reality though, I would like to build a railway connecting this way. But what's gonna be over here? Well, I guess a seep here would do. Except my style is to just build these and then just remove those. And probably that's about it. Or I could try and build something else, maybe a power plant. No, I can't. Obviously. So that's out of the question. But what military could I build anyway? Um, maybe an airfield and that's about it. So there we go. Got some more building projects. A little too many. And our approval rating is still going down. Okay, everything's been refitted and all that stuff, uh, research be done. Warfare currently is still the same. Advanced ballistic artillery will need those. Transportation. Digital roads. What does it say? Using wireless digital services, blah, blah, blah. Why not? Enhanced navigation, that'll be nice. Oh. Yes, we'll need that. We'll need non-reproductive cloning, which... To medical therapies, including cloning of organs and tissues. Why not? Technology. Let's see, robotics, nuclear, power upgrades. Alright. Medical. We we'll need these. Society. Nothing new. But we are still going to be researching a lot of stuff. Also, I have one extra research center that's still under construction. Oh, it's so much stuff, we probably have no choice but to... Well, I guess... I don't know, maybe I guess I could build another research center somewhere. Oh. Oh, right, there are several places that are not activated. Upkeep can be one thing, but it's another when just for some reason just turn these off. Hmm. I may need to check to see if there's any well, anything that's strangely turned off. I guess I could have done that off camera, but yeah, I'll probably do that off camera just to see which one's which and I'll manually activate, reactivate them. Okay, taxes are as low as they can. Social spending, however, is still not high. Okay, and maybe I'll take the risk of increasing social spending a little bit. Well, taxes are going to remain as they are. 30% social spending and 45% taxes. Or 43, depending. Alright, so... Spain! Our relations are... Okay. But can we give you something? Robotic microsurgery would be nice. So how much will you give us? 150 million dollars. Eh, small price to pay. 
Britain. Ooh. We have a lot of stuff, including the ta tactical uh, internet. Eh, that would be nice, but probably not. Sweden. That's it. Finland, you have nothing in terms of tech. Norway, naval stealth designs. Yeah, I guess it could be nice. Belarus, Russia. Don't know about them. Oh yeah, the Georgia Republic is still alive. Uh, what else is going on? Iran... Hasn't made any move to push the uh, Turks back. Lebanon, I don't know what they're doing with this territory here. Thing could be said for Israel not conquering uh, Jordan. I don't know. Okay, taxes are reduced a bit now, and the treasury's gone back up a little bit. But what happens if I go to 40% this time? Treasury will be greatly affected, I'm sure. But if I want to win the next election, which, uh... Only 98 days on back in back in uh, April 12th. Yeah, I'll probably have to try and get the approval rating up so that we don't have to deal with government change for no reason. Because let me actually let me check to see if any nations oh territorial gains. Oh yeah, they're at war with Russia. Forgot about that. Uh, countdown to elections, another 84 days for Norway. Uh, Sweden. Same. Finland. Well, I better check to see if there's any elections already still going. Russia? Nope, just constant messages of the war they have. Same with Turkey. 14 days for George, the George Republic, huh? Same with uh, Azerbaijan and Armenia. Same thing as well. Israel. Nope. Well, who else? India? 28 days for India. Japan, there's no news other than constant territorial losses. Cor South Korea. I don't know. Okay, our party is now 31.4. Socialist is 28.1. Republic... 29.9. So, it, it was 30%, right? I'm pretty sure it was 30%, but now it's been reduced. So, that's good news. What, uh, who else? Vietnam? Nope. Myanmar? Nope. Uh, yeah, and also Bangladesh. So wait, what about... Huh, the Dominican Republic is at the top, huh? Uh, Treasury of the United States, no surprise about that. But also the top of having the most debt. Uh, GDP, Qatar, population, China. Right, uh, what? pgm 71s T... Um, I guess I'll accept. Okay. So that's interesting to know. And we still have around 84 days until the next election. Hopefully nothing will happen. I'm looking at you, you America, United States, come out. I'm looking at you, America. Don't you dare declare war. Speaking of which. Okay. That's interesting to know. Okay, we have more forces here. Just going to deploy into the fortress that's now finished. I also got some lepers that are deployed. Somewhat. Uh, go to guard. Go to low. Uh, no, none. Just go to low. Okay. So, the missile price is too high. I guess I'll agree. Military. Ah. The aircraft fabrications here are done. 
So I guess we could start building more aircraft. Hopefully in time. But I'm going to end right here. So, <laughs> that was a bad start of the uh, failed invasion of Venezuela. And I did forget to check on my other ships. But yeah, of course, the carrier was a waste of time, so there's nothing I can do about them. I could try and order them to return to base, or whatever. But I don't know if they're going to move. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this, as our election is getting a bit closer. And hopefully our, the people will still love, will still hopefully remain love our party. And also pray we don't get war decked by anybody. Canada, I might deal with, but the United States... Yeah. That's one thing to worry about. But, hope you enjoyed this, and see you again in the next episode.